callers and the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved. The role of a woman in the society is to submit. Birth control are the pills of the devil. Education is so fundamental to the development of a people. Hang murderers. Simple as that. What am I voting for? Voting will change nothing. Good moon I see. Come God save the queen. Broadcasting live from ILS Studio here in Nassau, Bahamas. Welcome to Freedom March. My name is Rodney Munker. I'm a justice of the peace here in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And of course, I'm a member of the Roman Catholic Christian community here in the Bahamas. Today, there are many things happening in the Bahamas as my people, the Negro people, wait in anticipation of a powerful hurricane heading this way. And of course, I have a message for, from the Minister of Health, the Honorable Dr. Dwayne Sands. But in the midst of the preparation for the storm, there is a serious developing story taking place here on the island of New Providence. Ted Turner, the 20-year-old son of former opposition leader, Mrs. Loretta Butler Turner, and her husband, Edward Turner, is missing. About two hours ago, Mrs. Loretta Butler Turner announced on her Facebook page a major concern involving her 20-year-old. 15 minutes ago, I spoke with Mrs. Butler Turner, who expressed serious, serious concern for the physical well-being of a 20-year-old son. I asked those people who have been supporting Mrs. Butler Turner and who are friends of her, please visit her home and keep your eyes out for her son. And if you do see him, please call the police. His mental health is being challenged and Loretta Butler Turner is sudden. She has certain fear. I hate saying it, but she thinks that he may compromise his life. It's a sad, sad developing story. So please um, check for him. He's approximately six feet two inches tall. He's a fair-skinned Negro male, <laughs> and of course he is slim built. And the last time he was spotted, he was wearing a yellow faded t-shirt, dark gray warm-up pants, and red sneakers. When I spoke with Mrs. Butler Turner, I might as well tell you, she was weeping. And so that has had a tremendous emotional effect on me. A 20-year-old son, Ted Turner, he just walked away from the home, leaving, I suspect, message that is troubling. So if you see him, Please call the police and continue to watch it. It is my prayer that everything will turn out well for the 20 year old lad. This is Freedom Man, a sad day for Loretta Butler Turner, the former leader of the opposition. I'll be right back after the break.
Freedom March with Rodney Monker. We'll be right back after this. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Welcome back to Freedom March broadcasting live here on ILS Studios in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monker. ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas. They're correcting me behind the scene. And they know I'm a man who's run on. Well, my name is Rodney Monker, and I have two special guests. I'm going to introduce them. They are from Alive. And I thank God that I am alive. Isn't that powerful? <laughs> I'm alive. So my first guest wearing a red T-shirt, and if I may refer to him as a light-skinned Negro man, <laughs> his name is Damien Blackburn. He's the chief alive officer. Damien, welcome to Freedom March, and tell me how great it is to be alive. Well, firstly, I'd like to say There's how. There's my hand, Damien. Ah, uh, firstly, I'd like to say how great it is to be here on your on Freedom March on okay. your show, Mr. Monker. Well, I thank I've you. I've been following you since I arrived in the Bahamas about 15 months ago, and uh, you seem to have a a great following and a unique style which I've been admiring from afar. Well, I thank you. So it is good to be alive. It's absolutely great to be alive. Oh, praise the Lord! And then, of course, I have with me Mr. Dwayne Davis. He is the chief alive solution architect. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Yeah, just just a lot of just a lot of words. I just really the uh, <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Davis. Let me Thank you. welcome you. It's a pleasure to, to be here. Peter March. Thank you, Rodney. Well, this is powerful. Well, folks, they will be with me. They might as well spend the two hours with me as we talk about their new telephone, and I shall examine them to see. If it is better to be alive than to be, you know, opposite alive. <laughs> the breaking story here is former opposition leader, Mrs. Loretta Butler Turner. I've spoken to her about 20 minutes ago, and she has confirmed her Facebook posting that a 20-year-old son, Ted, is missing. Apparently, Ted said some things before he walked away, leading the family to conclude that perhaps there is a mental health challenge. Now, a mental health challenge does not necessarily mean that a person is crazy. You know me, I always have mental health challenges, but there are times when we can say things that if carried out, could be very devastating on ourselves and our family. And it is very sad for the mother. I've spoken to her, um, and she really was crying. So those of you who know 20-year-old Ted um, Turner, please keep an eye out for him. If you do see him, please notify the police. And also, please call the mother, Loretta Butler Turner. And her number is 393 Three five seven nine three nine three three five seven nine. Okay, this is a very serious matter. He's about five feet six, and he's slim built, a fair skinned Negro male. And in addition to that, he was last seen wearing a yellow faded T-shirt, dark gray warm-up pants, and red sneakers. All right. There's a storm approaching, so that itself brings on added stress for many of us. And then, of course, the, for a mother, her last child, to just walk away. So it's a serious matter. Please keep your eyes out. Please say a prayer for Mrs. Loretta Butler Turner. And for those of you who are extremely close with her, please go around to her home and provide the necessary um, emotional support and comfort and for those persons who are friends of Ted, would you please keep an eye out? Let his mother know the secret places that he visits so that they can ensure that he, you know, is found and so forth. 
Well, I have two guests, I've told you, from Alive. And of course, I know um, Mr. Davis very well, Dwayne Davis. I've met him. And of course, let me start off. Dwayne, um, I was extremely happy when you were able to get Alive to assist the All Saints camp with two needed a live mm -hmm. phone. So I want to start off by thanking you for that. And I'm certain you would have done that in consultation with the chief alive officer. So Damien Blackburn, I want to thank you for that. They're the things that makes me excited. And they're the things that when I reflect, it is so great to be alive. Absolutely. Thank I you. mean, we, we work very hard, Dwayne, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. to, to uh, uh, cement our place in the, in, in, in the various communities in, 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 in all of the islands that we operate. And that we've pledged since the beginning. It's certainly something I've learned along my career in, in many, many countries I've lived in. That, you know, the way to, to, to be accepted when you're new um, as, a, as a brand um, is to is to is to do the right thing, and um, Dwayne told me about the need, and uh, we were delighted to help, and we we you know we're going to help further with that 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 marvelous project that 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 I've been briefed on. Well, I'm happy to hear that. So, give me some information on a life. When did you start it, and what is your mission statement? Basically, the 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 Alive Venture um, uh, was the end result of a two-year process. The, the, the previous government uh, 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 under um, uh, Prime Minister Perry Christie uh, made a policy decision to liberalise uh, mobile telecommunication here in the Bahamas. After a couple of years, uh, including an auction process um, that involved three pretty big companies, uh, Virgin Mobile, Digicel, who are one of the largest mobile telecommunications provider in the, in the region and Cable Bahamas. Cable Bahamas was successful and won that auction. They, they bid $62.5 million for the license and one of the conditions of, of uh, winning that bid was that a joint venture was set up uh, between Cable Bahamas and uh, the, a, a, company called, a temporary company called Holding Co which is actually owned by the government. Uh, it's a 50-50 joint venture essentially. Cable Bahamas have board control and um, I was contacted uh, initially by Cable Bahamas and then met the Holding Co. Uh, company, which was then chaired by uh, Jimmy Campbell, and uh, uh, was asked to if, if I was interested in taking on the venture. The venture at that point was, was you'll recall in the early days, was, was uh, a, a, a company name that we received the license called Newco 2015 Newco, Limited. yes. Very uh, sexy name. That we then made a little brand out of uh, temporarily, while we while we worked out our brand position, and everything's been born from there. The first of July, the license was actually handed to me uh, by the regulator at Erka, and the whole company has been born from that 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 simple start uh, over a year ago. Yeah, is that the first of July, 2017? 2016. 2016. So just over a year ago. Yeah. Just over. There. The first thing we had to do was actually. Uh, we were with the, the various things in the license, but we had to get a network up and running within three months in both New Providence and Grand Bahama, which we achieved on the 1st of October last year. Um, most people in the industry who we consulted along the way said this wasn't possible. Um, Cable Bahamas had done quite a lot of prep work, but you know I had to assemble a team at rapid speed and then meet that first commitment, which we did on the 1st of October last year. Unfortunately, like the, the, the context we're operating in right now, uh, Hurricane Matthew hit us about five days later, so we had the network working, and uh, we had about a thousand people using it initially, but uh, and all the way through Hurricane Matthew. But you know, we were then disrupted in terms of re revealing the brand, the Alive brand. It wasn't an appropriate thing to re you know shout Alive in the middle of a hurricane. Yeah. So uh, we delayed that until November, and uh, the brand was launched in November just before Christmas, and has brought a lot of joy to me and my team and everybody who's adopted it since, I hope every, all your uh, viewers and listeners agree. Um, how, give me a guarantee that there is real competition 
taking place. If I said, show me the evidence that there is no collusion between you and BTC, what evidence would you produce but to first, show me yeah. that there is real competition so that the Bahamian consumers can get the best technological deal? Well, the easy. Yeah, the, the, there's, there's, a f there's a lot of evidence I yeah. can point to, but the first one is a personal thing. Um, I am the archetypal challenger. I worked for Richard Branson at Virgin. Um, in previously my career, Richard Branson has taken on many challenges. He, he challenged the music industry, the airline industry, and then I, I met him, and we, we were the sixth entrant in the United Kingdom. Um, and I was on the management team that punched way above its weight and took on a challenge as a sixth company, uh, finding innovative ways to, to punch against some massive giants, huge giants of the telecoms industry. The second one is I, I, I work for Digicel. Digicel with a challenger second network entrant in all of the, pr uh, pretty much all of the islands in the Eastern Caribbean, Jamaica, um, and, and a, a number of other places, Haiti. And, um, you know, I've, a track record of abs absolutely challenging incumbents and monopolies and uh, I've, you know, I've made my career out of it. So that's a personal pledge that I would never collude with anybody here to, to, to uh, my job and my mission in life is to absolutely improve things for, for the consumer, the consumer first. Then the evidence, let me give you the evidence. When I arrived here over a year ago, people were still paying to receive calls on their cell phones. Just think about that a minute. You as Bahamians were paying to receive calls on your cell phones. Especially from, from fixed lines. lines. Yeah, from fixed lines. And Definitely. like what used to happen a year ago, people used to screen their calls and decide whether to answer or not, or not. from yeah, a fixed line. Yeah. Now, I'd, I personally had not seen that behavior for many, many years. Um, it was the first thing, it was the absolute first thing I decided that is disappearing. Like on day one, that's uh, you know there'll be no, there'll be absolutely no doubt in my mind that you should not be paying in 2016 as it was then in 2017 for calls on your cell phones. Give me an example using your setup. Yep. How should I receive a call on my alive phone? Yep. That the person that I wouldn't be charged for receiving that call. Give me an example. Literally any call you receive on your cell phone, wherever it's from, landline, mobile, international, you do not pay for. You have no, you, you have an absolute guarantee. We never charge you to receive a call. That's from day one. We've never charged for receiving a call, which some of the things we've done are so revolutionary. It's actually taking time to actually seep into the consciousness of the Bahamian consumer that this could actually be true. And ob obviously, as people are trying it now, they're going, it's true. So I'll give you another one. Um, a year ago, to call a US or Canadian number off your cell phone, it would cost about 75 cents a minute. Firstly, our charges to call the US or Canada, if you simply top up or put money in your wallet, is 20 cents a minute, not 75 cents a minute. Secondly, we brought incredible freedom and, and liberty plans, freedom seven-day plans. So if you buy a plan from us, you get data, minutes, and text messages for that plan. So the Freedom 10 plan for $10 a week, you will get 100 minutes. Now, those minutes can be used to ring the US and Canada or any Bahamas phone number, whether it be landline, mobile. That's an absolute revolution. We're, we're treating US and Canadian numbers as local numbers. And before we arrived, you guys had to know whether you, it, there's even extra charges on the other guys for ringing another island. That's all, true. All that's gone. Yeah, We've that's got gone. rid of all that. Yeah, one rate. We have one rate. And, and Do you know if your major competitor has fallen in line? They try, they try and confuse, yeah. right, is, 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 is how they react to us. So we, we put up our offer, and then they'll try and look like they're doing something similar. But it's so hard to actually understand often what charging and promotions they're doing. I've given up. I'm just concentrating on what we're doing and doing it very well. What is this $50 plan? Can you explain that to me? <laughs> Dwayne, do you want to have a go yeah. on that one? <laughs> The $50 plan is one of our monthly plans. And what we've done recently is we do double bubble, meaning that if you buy a $50 plan for one month, you get five gigs of data. 
500 voice and 500 text. Now with, bu with, double, with double data for life, you get 10 gigs of data, 500 voice and 500 text. So that means for 30 days, you got 10 gigs of data, you have 500 minutes to call the US and Canada for free, and as well as you have 500 texts, so you can send text messages. Above the 50, we got the $75 plan, and we have the 120 plan. The 120 plan, which is what we gave the, the, AIDS, the AIDS camp, they have unlimited calling, unlimited data, unlimited text. They can call and text, they'll never get a bill above 120, they would never run out of minutes, and they'll never run out of data. This is powerful. Right, and, and, and that's unique. So when you, so also you ask, what's the difference between us and BTC? Damien said a live started July 1st. I walked through the door July 4th, and together we built the network that we have. Standalone, we're not dependent on BTC other than the islands where we're roaming, completely independent networks. Independent of BTC? Independent of BTC. We have 146 towers throughout the Bahamas right now. And we've, uh, we've, we've constructed nearly all of those towers. We use fiber from Cable Bahamas to join those towers to our core network. Mm -hmm. it's, a th it's a complicated business that this good man looks after to add all the systems together at the middle that makes it work, the magic black boxes as I call them, yeah? And, you know, uh, we, 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 we're not reliant on them now. You know, I, I, I was on TV the other day uh, on, on the news. Unfortunately, there is one thing that we have to do uh, with BTC, and that is this. When a customer calls a BTC mobile or a fixed number, or BTC customers are trying to reach our customers, obviously we have to give the call to them. And, uh, you know, they had a lot of problems uh, a, a week or so ago, and, uh, and customers think that these things can be our fault, yeah? They're not. We're handing the calls over on the protocols, and unfortunately, their own net, their network was down, affecting BTC customers, by the way. And of course, our customers have got used to such reliability on our network that when they're trying to ring BTC numbers and they can't get through, you know, they rightly get upset. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, my special guest here today is Damien Blackburn. He is the chief alive officer and we also have Mr. Dwayne Davis. He's the chief alive solution architect. When I return, I will tell you what Dr. Dwayne Sands, the Minister of Health, the message that he's passing through me to the woman them. If y'all are knock up and expecting to have baby in the storm. Lord, it is my prayer. That all the women that will knock up <laughs> will have plenty babies uh, in the storm. <laughs> and to make sure the baby them survive, when I return, I'll tell you what the Minister of Health had to say. I'll be right back. Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. In comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved. Praise the Lord. We are now receiving breaking news. And it is great breaking news. The 20-year-old son of former opposition leader, Mrs. Loretta Butler Turner, we now have learned, has been found by the police. And he is now in the protective custody of the police. And we are advised that the parents, Edward Turner and Mrs. Loretta Butler Turner, are on their way to collect their son and to provide him with the necessary love and care. So that is the new developing story. Ted Turner, the 20 year old son of opposition leader, former Loretta Butler Turner, has been found by the police. It would appear that nothing untoward has happened to him. So that is a breaking news. 
Welcome back to Freedom Match broadcasting live here on ILTV in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monker, and I do have two men from Alive. That's the new competitor to the other people them, the new telephone company owners. And my guests are Damien Blackburn. He's the light-skinned Negro man. And then, of course, there is Dwayne <laughs> Davis. Man, I'm certain you all are happy to be alive. No, oh, yeah. Are you happy to be alive? Absolutely. Now, oh, yeah, can, I give you, can I give you a little prompt to remember my name, yes. Mr. Moncoya? Yes, you may. What, what does Damien rhyme with? Goodness me. Damien rhymes with what? Bahamian. Wow, give me one of these. It's powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I always was suspicious of you. So at the end of the, at the, end of the day, I, I, da Damien, I feel so at home here. Damien the Bahamian. It's rhymes powerful. with, rhymes with. It rhymes. And aspiring to be. Of course, this is powerful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> as the hurricane approach, I was blessed to be able to speak personally with my doctor and the nation's doctor, Dr. Dwayne Sands. Because you know that at 5 p.m. today, I've never seen nothing like this in all my life, the government is closing down all the office them. And it appears that we will join them in their additional 10 weeks of vacation. So the government office is closing down. So I asked the Minister of Health, what about the hospital in the midst of the storm? And what about the pregnant woman there? And the minister has said to me, all women them who expect to have baby in the storm, you better come to the hospital now, <laughs> pack your bag, and get to the hospital no before right, right. the storm, because the government will not endanger emergency personnel by sending them out in the hurricane to provide that necessary medical care. So, listen to me, if you think you are about to have baby, by the time the hurricane arrives, listen, pack your bag and head to the hospital, okay? I think it's good advice, and for heaven's sake, if it's a baby girl, don't name her Irma. Okay? <laughs> so, I also want you to know that the doctors say that all the clinics them will be closed during the passage of Hurricane Irma. Okay? So for those of y'all who have sugar and high blood pressure, you should go now and get your medication. Get your little things so that should this bad hurricane do come, you will be prepared. Now, I have a first cousin who lives in Fox Hill, Derek Davis. Listen, I run out of money, so I haven't been able to buy my bread. You got shop, so <laughs> save your first cousin a little loaf of bread. Uh, I need one more tuna <laughs> and a gallon of water. And I ain't coming for it unless the hurricane comes. So please save that for me <laughs> and to your charming daughter, Candice Davis. Thank you for packing up that little bag while your pa wasn't in the shop. <laughs> All right? So my first cousin, Derek <laughs> Davis. Have you been to see him down by the Jungle Club? I haven't, no. No, no we got to go see my first cousin, Derek Davis, who must also be his cousin. I'm certain he would love... Well, if he's got any more bread left, I will certainly go and visit him. Well, this is powerful. Oh, you know, Fox, I got some good bread. Yeah, uh -huh. plenty good <laughs> bread. <laughs> so, folks, <laughs> the hurricane is coming. And we are hearing terrible news in the Caribbean. Um, my St. Kitts. I'm told that in the St. Kitts... What has happened in St. Kitts? St. Martin. St. Kitts... Nevis and St. Martin, there has been major devastation. But no lives lost. No lives has been lost. That is the information I am receiving. So we must take the storm seriously. Listen 
to the authorities. All right? I want all crime suspended until after the storm. Because the police really does not like to have to hold people in these cells. Okay? Because it means it's added responsibility. So you have to listen to the authorities. You got to listen to them. Okay? Go do your shopping now. All right? I know I've been to one shop and it looked like it's Christmas. Everybody seems to be excited. Yeah. And it appears that there is going to be major destruction. All right? But we need prayer and planning. So go ahead and do what has to be done. Alive. Mm -hmm. Is it possible that in the midst of a raging storm, I would be able to depend on my data? Absolutely. I mean, last year, we, we operated the network th right throughout Hurricane Matthew. Yeah. Um, I said this morning, we had a press conference this morning, uh, you know, a, a lot of my team have, 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 have operated networks through various natural disasters. Unfortunately, I, I and my uh, chief engineer have, have, uh, have lived in the region for many years. And we've we've gone through the the Haiti earthquake, Hurricane Sandy, Hurricane Ivan, and many 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 others. Um, we've used all that experience and the experience of, of people like Dwayne um, and the experience we had in Hurricane Matthew to prepare the network to the absolute maximum that we is possible. Uh, almost every site that we that we that we operate has backup power, not just one source of backup power, a generator. We also have. Uh, batteries on 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 there that that last for many hours, if the generator doesn't start, and that's a, a major source of of issues for networks. I personally was the CEO of uh, of the largest network in Haiti. We ran we ran the um, network there, 1,500 sites on actually on generators because there is no power in in reliable power in Haiti, and um, it is possible to keep the network running. We did it 24/7 in Haiti. With, with with two generators and all the logistics of delivering diesel um, but all of that putting all that together I you know we, we've used all that experience we've planned as well as we can we are absolutely going to work our hardest to make sure your service works but a category 5 storm is a category 5 storm things will happen and uh, you know I guarantee that my team will work hard if when things happen to put them right as quickly as possible, and that's my main guarantee to you all. Um, but I'm fairly confident that that it that it will be working in the majority of places. Um, but if we have Category Five hitting us directly, uh, you know, there will be some there will be damage. Um, I, I've got a lot of friends. I've worked around the Caribbean, many many islands. I used to be responsible for those Eastern Caribbean islands um, in a previous life, uh, running mobile networks, and you know, it's dreadfully sad to see the destruction that's gone on in those islands i've got friends right now in the british virgin islands uh, you know texting me it's it's going through now and it's it's a the one thing they're all saying we've all lived through you know dozens of storms this is a, a big storm you know this is a terrible this one. is yeah it's huge it's br breaking all records of wind yeah. speeds you know so the last time you guys check what reports were you having in terms of wind speed 185 miles an hour. Yeah. Um, the actual the actual weather station in St. Martin is on a mountain there. I can see it now. I picture it. I've flown into that airport many times. Uh, Stop measuring at 240 kilometers an hour. Wow. Well, folks, um, I have Damien Blackburn and, of course, Brother Davis. Davis, you know, I'm 60. I have to keep looking at your I name. Dwayne Davis. Now, folks, I don't want you to be alarmed over the approaching storm. And I'll tell you why. The late Sir Etienne de Puch, who died in 1991, about 12 years prior to his death, he wrote an article in the editorial of the Tribune in which he, by his writing, has prepared me for national catastrophe. So Etienne de Puch wrote that the French prophet, Notre Dame, has predicted that one night when we all in the Bahamas go to bed, these islands which arose from the ocean 
shall submerge. And that is what Sir Etienne Depute has written. And ever since that, I've slept with one eye open. So, I just want you to know what Sir Etienne Depute has had to say. But notwithstanding that prophecy, we must survive, and we can only survive if we do the necessary preparation. Listen to the civil authorities. It's very important. Stay inside. Protect your pets. Protect them. As it comes to outside generators, if you don't know what you're doing, leave it alone. Because don't forget, the man from Bain his son was electrocuted. So it's very, very important to listen to the authorities. Cooperate with the police. And when the storm approaches, the government is saying that they're not going to risk the welfare of citizens in the midst of, of a storm. So if you know you're living in low-lying area, for heaven's sake, evacuate. You hear me? Evacuate. And alive, you're part of NEMA? Yeah, no, we... we Tell uh, me about we, we, NEMA, because NEMA ain't paid some people yet. <laughs> so what is this? Well, I don't know if I we can don't know about that. <laughs> okay. But I just I mean, want to know. No, nah, we, we're part of the process. As you know, yesterday, NEMA did a nationwide test. Yeah, I was network. trying to figure out what the heck NEMA doing on my... Yeah. I didn't have to pay on my live phone for that day. No. no. You no. sure? No, that's Absolutely free. Because yeah, I free. only have a $50 packet. Oh, you'll be fine with that. And worry, when I saw... You name on it i wondered what were they doing invading you know and then you got another weather update so what we've done was uh we, we have coordinated with all the emergency uh operations to be able to send alerts to everybody really so anyone with a live phone would be able to receive text alerts from nemo uh, and that the, starts and the then. government it started but the test was yesterday really you would have gotten you would have gotten an update text yes early this afternoon as well from us but let me check Test message. NEMA is advising all residents to prepare in advance of Hurricane Irma. Yeah. Pay attention to all local advisories. And all 80,000 plus of our subscribers get that message. You all have all them people? Yeah, man. 80, really? 80 plus thousand on yeah. our network, correct. Wow. That's powerful. Okay. So in, le in less than a year. Really? Yeah. What has been your secret to success? I, th <laughs> I think we're... I think you know, humbly, yeah, we just try our best to give consumers what they want, need, and deserve. Quite frankly, um, we uh, we we spent time studying the market, uh, assembled the team, and you know, I got very clear feedback about what the market didn't like and what the market does like. And you know, Bahamians pay good money; they they good hard-earned money for for their cell phone service. They want, they want good service. Uh, they want good service. Okay. They want to be able to get. Did you bring any little bag? I think we have a few. Yeah, man. We got uh, what kind of thing you all bring? Yeah. What they bring? Yeah, we bought, we bought, a, we bought what we call the live goodie bag. You might have seen these around well, with, I'm gonna, with our back to I'm going to give a little test. Now, listen, folks. Damien Blackburn, if you tell me where he go to have some conks fritter, what in the bag? We have, uh, there's a cell phone, a water bottle, if a If you tell me where Damien goes. And this is important. To have a comforter, you will get something out the bag. So what to do? When I open the line, I'm not going to open line until 5 o'clock. Damien is the man in the red shirt. And you tell me. Yeah, Damien the Bahamian. Where he goes to have a good comforter. And a nice fish. And if you tell me where he goes, you will get something out of the bike. Okay? Now, don't... This person is on the phone? Well, let me speak to the person then. Hello? Oh, well, good. Keep the phone until I signal you. Because I don't want nobody to cheat. Damon, <laughs> <laughs> you go places to have little yeah, uh, absolutely. fish, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
And th those you will have seen me in this place with, with Dwayne on many occasions. Okay. And Help. some of your friends as well, Mr. Oh, Monker. This is powerful. Don't give no clue. My spiritual advisor, praise the Lord, you are here. Come inside the studio. Okay. Hello. Welcome to Freedom March. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm great. Why don't you try this question? You see it's the Awa key? Okay. Awa key is big. Where? You've got to get Where? the exact bar, yeah? Come on. Sister, answer me. I can't hear you. What did you say? I said our key. Can you tell me where? What did you say? I can't hear you. Can you tell me exactly where on our key? I can't hear you. By Goldies. Mm -mm. By Goldies. Goldies. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, I'm going to hold your number, but you are off. Next caller. <laughs> where does the man in the red shirt... Damien Blackburn, where at Awa Key, he has his conch fritter and a nice fish. Hello? Hello? You want to try that? Hello? He yeah. goes to Snapper. He goes to Snapper. Have yeah. you ever been to Snapper? I have been to Snapper, but it's not Snapper. It's not Snapper. Not my favorite. It's not his favorite. But I love Snappers as well. But he loves yeah, Snapper. I love Snapper. Let me try somebody else. Okay. So half price. Say it again. <laughs> half price. No. <laughs> can you can you tell me where Damien Black Boy? It's the light skinned Negro man. Where does he go to have a good fish? And I'm gonna give you a clue. Well, no, I'm not going to give you a clue. No, no, I'm going to give him a clue. Answer they can get the question it. and win something of the yellow bike. You want to try? Hello. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Okay, is it Kings? <laughs> um, you know something? I'm going to uh, let that slip. You hear me? Hello? I'm going to let that pass. You can get something of the bike. No, no, no. Hold that woman. Are you there? Yes. Yeah. Um... He doesn't even know what King is. Um, don't mind that. That's exactly <laughs> where he is. Take this phone. Um, listen, you've got to give this woman something. Yeah. Are you one of the women there? Of course. It's the Pope Catholic. He is. <laughs> <laughs> Damien, push your hand in the bag and take out something for my... I think, well, look... Leader there's, of the woman there. There's a That's very, right. We've, we've got a very You're exciting right, phone, an Alcatel Pixie Far here. Okay. She uh, gets the whole bag. She get the whole bag. She get the whole bag. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, we got this, and we got a, a water bottle. Well, we well, put it on the table so she can see it. A beautiful alive cap. Listen, a you water get bottle, an alive a shirt. Alive phone and a SIM card. No, a this shirt, woman had the answer. Hold on a second. Put it on the table. I want it to be seen. And also let them know the SIM card. No, no, card. take it out of the bag no, and put it on the table. Oh, no, okay. I'll take it out the bag. Yeah. But let her know. Don't also. let it out the bag. Yeah, yeah. I we want to let it out the bag. Put it right there, so she could see. The SIM card comes what? with an unlimited weekly plan, so she gets unlimited data for one week. You heard that? Sister, hello? Well, no, she won. And this is a beautiful, this is a beautiful thing for the Now, for how the are we going to identify the woman? This is, this is a cigar charger. That'll be very useful during the hurricane. Yes, yeah, this is powerful. Mother, she got it, she got it right. She woman? knows where we be. We'll take it up. Daughter, your leader. Call me back. You won. Okay? Damien, this is great. Um, anything else, B? Any other question we could put to these people? Well, we got three more bags. I mean, we come up, we could come up with yeah, some ideas. Course. Yeah. You, know. you want to put one, Davis? Well. She's back? Let me hear. Yes. Oh, 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 we're back. Daughter. Yes, the phone got cut off, Mr. Monker. This is powerful. It, it, you it, must it, be on a BTC phone, yeah, I guess. That's on the, on the other What kind of phone are you using? My parents' house has... Uh, BTC and uh, Cable Bahamas. I'm watching you on 224. Uh, well, okay. you, you're going to be fine. No more cutting off in the future with this beautiful alive phone. You heard that? Okay, sir. Now, are you one of the... This is not her? Of course, Mr. Monk. It's me. I called you early when I said it's the Pope Catholic when you asked if I'm one of the women there. Yes, this is her. <laughs> okay, now I have to put a question to you. Do yes, you sir? accept me as leader <laughs> of the woman there? Yes. <laughs> This is powerful. Did you match with me? Of course, Mr. Monker. 
I brought the 81 year old lady from Illustro on Saturday to march with you. Yes, it is you. Well, look what show her one more time. This is a powerful. She got everything. She's got everything, woman, and the, and and she'll be able to call. What kind and of phone that is? It's an Alcatel Pixie 4. It's a beautiful phone. Okay. A and smartphone, yeah. No bubblers here. Just this smartphone. Smartphone. What else? And then on the, the she has a SIM card with unlimited data for one week. Yeah, unlimited data. Call this anyway. this, is, this yeah. will be extremely useful. This is a charger that plugs into the cigar lighter on the car. Yeah. Okay, I don't want hurricane. you smoking no cigar now. <laughs> no, okay. of course not. Cigar <laughs> smoke is not We're going to take your number and you okay, come here to the one, studio. God save the queen. God save the queen. This is powerful. So we got, three, we got three more bags, three more bags that we brought with us. Yeah. Okay. Well, give them a question. You need a second? Goodness me. Well, while he needs... Okay, while he needs another second, I'm going to read quickly a statement that was issued last night, the 5th. It comes from Senator Fred Mitchell. You see how fair I am? The, doc the Minister of Health, I give you his statement. Now we go to the opposition. Last night, residents of Fox Hill, according to Fred Mitchell, Call me when the sound of eight gunshots rang out in the vicinity of Abner Street. As they spoke to me, they were crouching in their home for the second time in as many days. The night before, the same thing had occurred. On the 28th of August, I wrote the commissioner of police complaining that the swimming pool with children in it had to close its access and send the children home because in the middle of a Sunday afternoon, shots rang out in the same vicinity. I pleaded for additional resources. I made a public statement in similar times on the 31st of August. I said that the community feared that an ongoing tit-for-tat drug war was going on and that additional resources needed to be placed in the area to deal with it. I copied the National Security Minister. To this day, and to the best of my knowledge, information and belief, nothing has been done. The report now is, and I am advised, that as a result of last night's shooting, two people were injured by my count that is four casualties, including one death in three weeks. How much more is this community going to be asked to take of this? What resources of the government can be called upon and supplied in their aid and comfort? Or is it because it's Fox Hill that the government refuses to act? Now, folks, you would recall that the government has suspended all vacations and other activities and has called all the civil servants to work except the commissioner of police. And I need to know where he is because I need someone who's going to restore confidence and cause the people to feel a sense of security. Unless you'll turn over the commissioner and tell us his whereabouts, I'm going to court. I'm going to ask his lordship for a order of mandamus because I need to know where the commissioner is in the midst of a storm. Man, you all or something? I mean, I don't understand you all. We're fighting crime, but the commissioner can't be found. We are under attack by gangsters, and where's the commissioner? Where is the commissioner let us not forget october 25th when we had a hurricane and in the midst of the hurricane there was a murder y'all think i stupid eh? <laughs> i remember it i want green slade to be called to active duty now because the forces of evil is murdering raping and robbing this is freedom out be right back. After the break. Well, the question I can do is what about the islands we have to back? 
Freedom March with Rodney Monker. We'll be right back after this. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monker, and my two guests are Damien Blackburn and Dwayne Davis. They are happy to be alive. Yes, we are. And I think we should give God thanks that we are all alive. Absolutely. Well, folks, you are aware that the government of the Bahamas has evacuated approximately 1,000 citizens out of the southern Bahamas. The reports that we are receiving is that Irma is a bad gal, and she's going to be very, very devastating. So it is always better to take safety precaution. And hey, guess what? This is the first time since May 10th that I could finally congratulate my party, the FNM. You know, I'm an FNM who's supporting the opposition. But I can say that as an FNM, I am proud to see that the government is being pro active so this is great they seem to be wrestling with Irma as the criminals you know run amok but I want to warn y'all y'all better stop all this crime because one day we're gonna be successful in hanging many of y'all and I don't want nobody to get hung but I also do not want to see people being gunned down and murdered because it's a sin and God is not pleased with that and murderers are going to hell you better repent and stop it anyway Damien Blackburn and Dwayne Davis you all got more gifts yes yeah, I got more qu yeah, I got, got more questions more bags. yeah man to the people them which five islands do Alive currently have the Alive office operating from. Did I? The five, the network, yeah. The network. The, the, the LTE, the beautiful world class LTE you put network. the question. <laughs> which, <laughs> which five islands in the Bahamas is our beautiful world class LTE network currently operating on? Agreed. Okay, and you have to call the, the name of the five. Yes. The five islands, absolutely. Five Gotta islands. Get all five. We Welcome to Freedom Art. Hello? Are you there? Man, I got a yellow bag Hello? for y'all. Hello. Hi, Rodney. Yes, ma'am. How are you today? Listen, I'm angry, but okay, I'm happy you, you to be alive. Nassau. Nassau. You have Nassau. Bimini. Hold on. You Nassau. Freeport. Bimini. Abaco and Exo, ma'am. Is that correct? No. No. Sorry. Almost. Um, listen, you want to... Is that correct? Goodness me. Hello. Welcome to Freedom Match. Hello. Where? Okay, the answer is the answer is Freeport. Go ahead. Freeport. It's, it's five islands. You only name one. Nassau. Go ahead. Nassau. Nassau. Abaco. Go ahead. That's only three you call. Two more. Two more. Hurry up. Exoma. Go ahead. One more. That one more. No Exoma. They say not egg summer. You, 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 don't, you have to let us say it. Don't cheat. <laughs> the Berry Islands. Uh, listen, Bimini. you better go back and study. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Freedom Match. <laughs> Do you know? Hello. We're alive. Go ahead. Put the question. What island does Alive have Hello. their network launch? Uh, can you hear us? Hello. Island? What islands? that Alive currently have their network yes. launch. Hello? Yes? Is it Nassau? Go ahead. Freeport? Talk. Bimini? Talk. Elutra and Talk. Abaco? Is she yeah. right? She's well, right. We, we might have to have a steward's inquiry as to whether Freeport is an island, but yeah. I think it's near enough. Yeah. I'm right? Yeah, you're yeah, right. You Grand Bahama oh, is officially the answer. Oh, thank you, Jesus! Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Are you but we, we'll let that through. Of the woman <laughs> down. Are you listening to me? Are you one of the women now? 
Yes, sir. Will you Stay make out sure? to the march on Saturday. Will you make sure you put the leader cell phone number in this alive phone, okay? <laughs> so you could reach me. Now give the producer your name and number. Okay, no problem, my leader. And before you leave, show her what she read. Take it out the bag, man. Yeah, every bag has the same thing in it. Show it Thank to her. So I want her to see what she got. Thank you so much, Thank you very much. Thanks Thank for you all your support. Much. You get a, a live hat. A bottle. A live bottle for the storm. A phone. A live phone. With a SIM card. With a SIM card. With free unlimited data for with a week. For a week of free unlimited data. A USB card charger. And a USB card charger. And a shirt. And a shirt. What size shirt you wear? Huh? Thank you all so much. Okay. God save good the with queen. That Leave your Pardon? number. Extra large. Leave your number and your name and come to the studio and pick it up before the storm. Okay? I thank you. Do well, we, we, got, we got. Now, can I can I just uh, make Go ahead. one comment? I think I hear you praising the government there for the proactivity on the evacuation. Um, it, it's it's actually. Uh, one of the first times I've seen in, and I, as I said, I've operated personally across about 20 countries in the region, um, a government um, doing a proactive evacuation. Uh, last night when we heard about it in Alive, we decided that um, all those all those uh, people had been displaced, it would be a nice gesture for us to go to the airport and greet them with an Alive comfort bag, including a phone. People need to be in, in touch. That's powerful. And, uh, you know, we... When we went down there, um, my, uh, my team worked tirelessly overnight to, to make this happen, you know, packing a thousand of these bags and, and getting stuff ready that will be useful for people. You know, it, I didn't go down first. I went down a bit later on in the morning. Yeah. But the guys I, I, I witnessed with my own eyes, you know, the government of officials from the social service ministry, um, in particular the police, um, everything was very well organized. And, and uh, although people... We're clearly shocked, actually, you know, to be just uplifted from their homes yep. yesterday. Yep. Uh, they only really found out that this was happening yesterday. Um, you know, they, they were being greeted uh, nicely by their fellow Bahamians. And it was very well organized. Buses were there to take them to the shelters, yep. if that's where they're going, or, yeah. or, 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 or link them to families. So we just, you know, we were delighted in our own small well, way to, to be able that. to react quickly. And, yeah. and, uh, yeah, and so my team, the Alive team... You know, big thanks to to all of my team who who reacted to that. We, I think it was nine o'clock last night we were discussing it and and you know made it happen this morning. It was a, an immense effort, and we're actually looking forward. It, you know, these a lot of these people now have an alive phone. It will work in those islands, uh, roaming on on our competitor uh, whilst we're getting our network. Uh, but we are hoping, even despite this hurricane, to have our network working on all of those southern islands by yeah. Christmas. I don't think Damien underscored it enough. So basically what he's saying is that everyone that stepped off the plane from one of the Southern Islands this morning got a yep. bag. They got a free phone. They got a bag with a water bottle and cap as well as we put one week of free unlimited data on their phones. And towels. And, tiles and, and, so, and when they're here... So Mama will be able to text? Mama will be able to text and call really? everybody. As well as what we're going to do is uh, for the entire weekend during the storm, we're going to allow, we're going to allow free alive to live calls. Really? During the entire from, storm. Yeah, from midnight. You meant to tell me I could call Brother Jax. Absolutely. Brother Jax from midnight has tomorrow a night. live phone. Yes. And from midnight Thursday till midnight Sunday. Really? Free, free alive to alive calls. Now, what if the hurricanes stay longer? Well, then we'll, we'll, review, we'll, we'll, review, review, it. we'll review it. Obviously. Listen, we'll if review in it. the storm, I have callers. Well, we, we need another question. We have how many more bikes? We have oh, another we bike? Two, we got two more bikes. We got two more bikes. Right. Listen. Welcome to Freedom March. What question we can put to them? Well, this weekend, a lot, this last weekend, Alive did a nationwide back-to-school program. We were on, we were in at least eight islands. Really? If they can name, we've given away close to 10,000 school bikes. Wow. So far this year. The last one we did on Sunday afternoon. Any bike leave? Um, no, they're all gone. Notebook? All notebooks. Um, no pen leave? Loose leave, pencil. We got, we got a couple more at the office for I you, Mr. Monica. You have a good writing uh, we pen? Get you, we oh, get we got you some good pen. pen. We have to send you a live bike. I need a little pen, yeah. a little book, because no I have problem. to write things. So if they can name two of the islands other than Nassau, other than New Providence and Grand Bahama that we did a back to school with last weekend, they can get themselves a bike. Well, you heard the question. 
Hello, welcome to Hello. Freedom Match. Sister, Hello. yes? Yes. Name two islands yeah. other Hello. than... Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, how are you, Rodney? I'm fine, my love. Hello? Are, are you alive? Yes. Well, I, I, did you hear the question? Yes. Give me the answer, then. Yes. Give me the answer. Yes. Cut this off, my seat. You're saying yes? Andrus. Yes. Andrus. Yes. And... Abaco. An Abaco. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah that's correct. correct. Listen, are you one of the woman them? Are you one of the woman them? No, I'm not one of the woman them. But you better repent. No, I'm not. <laughs> Listen, I want you to become one of the woman them. You just win a prize. Give the man your name, okay? You heard me? Hello? I think she's gone. Goodness of my seat. We lost the woman. Okay, um, listen, there's a phone call coming in on the other people's phone. Would you take that to see what they're saying? <laughs> oh, Lady, call me back. You win. How we lost her? Goodness of my sake. Come, give another question. Her? Give us another question. What's the next question? Next question. Name. Go ahead. What are, we, we sell two types of plans. We sell seven-day plans. Seven-day plans. And they have a name. And they have a name. And we sell 30-day plans, and they have a name. Tell us the name of the seven-day plan and the 30-day plan, and question. you shall win... A goodie bag. A goodie bag. A cell phone, a hat, a charger, call a water me, bottle, a T-shirt. And don't call me on the text, on the cell phone. you got to call through the company. And there are two names that we... Do I have a caller? Repeat your question again. So the, t the, the names of the seven-day plans that we sell and the name of the 30-day plan. Give us the name of the seven-day alive plan and the 30-day alive plan and win a goodie buy. Hello. Welcome to Freedom March. Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it's Freedom 10. Mm -hmm. Freedom 10. Freedom 10. Freedom 10. Freedom 20 and Freedom 30. Right. That's the, uh, that's that's the they're all They're all seven-day plans. So right. what, are, what are the, about the 30-day plan? What is the name of the 30-day plan? Freedom 10 for Jamaica. Freedom 10 for Jamaica. Right. But what's the, what's the monthly plans? What's the name of the monthly plans? What is the name um, of the monthly plan? 30 days. 30-day 30 30 day plan. plans. Hmm? She got it? Liberty 50. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. 75. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And 120. Yes, you got it right. They, 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 no, they, don't, don't miss and hang up now. <laughs> Give the man. And 175 is the platinum. Oh, oh. they're alive. All oh, they're definitely alive. They're alive. All Are you all alive? Yeah. Who please? Who please? Go on. Okay then. Yes, you're all alive. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> don't hang up. Make sure we get your name and number so you could come here at IL Studio. You know where this is? No, where is it? Listen, you don't know where Sabat's got the big TV station? Yes. Right there on Thompson Boulevard? Okay. Next to the gas station? Yes. You come here. I hope they don't play Hurricane tomorrow because everybody closing down and I need to work. That's one of the woman them. You one of the woman them? Yes, sir. Oh, praise the Lord. I'm so happy that you win this phone. So come to the studio tomorrow and pick it up. <laughs> Give the producer... Crazy. Your name, okay, and number, okay, okay, yeah. This is powerful. Do yeah. you have a, another those are one? The, no, those are the four bags we brought. Really. So the four bags. Just want to tease them. So the tease. This is powerful. Just a little tease. Listen, them. when y'all coming back? Yeah. Whenever you'll have us. Yeah. Well, well once we complete what we were doing with the AIDS camp, because we were just talking about yeah. that today, yeah. we committed to groceries, so we okay. want to do that once How the storm clears. How much grocery clear. you can get them? We're going to start off with five hundred dollars worth of groceries. Okay. Yeah. Just back to school, this and then um, we'll go from there. Well, there's something I want you all to do because I took Wayne Monroe in the back there mm -hmm. to give them the phone. Before you say that, today we talked about it. Um, I still gonna say yeah. it. Yeah. There's you know the hurricane, they ain't repair it. Okay. <laughs> all right. And they ain't plenty lumber. You follow my point? Absolutely. Yeah. So I need you to show more humanitarianism. Absolutely. So that God will bless the company. We, we're aware of so that. I need we're you to go there with the lumber. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talked about that today. Yeah. yeah. Right? Also, they have a gas stove. It is waiting for a major explosion. Brand new gas stove. 
but it needs someone to clean it up. You see my point? Yeah. You think y'all could do that for the people there? Absolutely. Let's talk about that. Do today. that. And, you know, I'll be so happy. And the country will be so happy. And God will bless a life. Well, thank you very much for having us. We've yeah, enjoyed we, ourselves. And we, you got nine more minutes. Yeah, uh, it's been let fun. me see who them is on the phone. Hello. Welcome to Freedom March. Hello. 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 How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Yeah, I ran out of prize, but isn't it wonderful to have a live here with us? Say that again. I ran out of prizes, but I say, it, isn't it wonderful to be alive? It is wonderful to be alive. And, and I was calling because I was hoping I could win a prize. Listen, they can come back, you know. And I can tell them when they come back, come with plenty prizes. <laughs> okay. How does that sound? That sounds good. Yeah. Uh, she got a question for us. So, Mr. Any Manker, questions? I just want you to know that I am one of the women there. Oh, praise the Lord. Ooh. And um, good evening to your guest. And good I evening. am enjoying your show. Good oh, evening. We, we thank you. Thank so, you very much. Um, when they come back, I hope to win a prize. Listen. We'll be back. They will be back. And take care and be safe in the hurricane, okay? Absolutely. And you be safe. Okay. Thank you, my love. Hello. Welcome to Freedom March. Hello. Are you there? Tout le monde haïtien, pas de moi. Le monsieur à live a vini. Ma demande yo pour ban moi. Un pile price là. Vous comprenez? Parce que haïtien perd moi yo. Mon reme nou. And ma kwe. Company la reme un pile. Moun yo moi. Mon haïtien. Où c'est haïtien? Oui. Qui montre où pour parler créole? Un, pe un petit. Ok, c'est bon. Gardez! <laughs> Monsieur Gasson. Mon, 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 vive, mon vive en Haïti. Ah! Il travaille dans Haïti. Travaille. Il dit, les Haïti qui Trump manté terre. Téléphone company là, pas crasé. Il campe. Livé. Alive. Alive. Oui. La. But I'm having fun now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I see my Lea Yovini Mabgin and Pil Bagai Puno. Well, when they come back, Merci, Rob. Merci. my people, the Haitian people, we're going to have some prize for you. Well, you okay. know, we did a back to school. We did a back to school giveaway just for the Haitian community. Well, two how weeks come ago. nobody. Tell me to come. Well, you know, we try and let our good work speak for no, itself. No, I'm talking about, you know, if you're doing things for Haitian, I'm one of them. We have an alive. Well, well, we Mr. Have Mon a, yeah. Mr. Moncur, yeah. this, is a, this is a little secret. I have callers. Okay, <laughs> let, let me tell you a, a little secret. Yeah. I, I'm the chairman of a, of a, a, a Haitian institution called Foncose. Foncose. Foncose, do you know it? No, I don't. It's the largest microfinance institution in Haiti. Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. we, we, we give loans to... Um, 70,000 women in Haiti. Really? $200, $250 loans a time. Uh, we disperse, dispense 30, 30 million a year. And we have 200,000 savers, 45 branches all around Haiti. And the uh, institution employs 800 staff. I'm just Johnny come lately to this party. I've well, been chairman for that. three years. It was founded by a, an amazing uh, Haitian Catholic priest called Father Joseph Philippe. Okay. And I'd love to come on your show another time and, and, and talk and, about and, it. And talk about That'd it. That'd be powerful. Let me take these calls before time runs out. Hello! Welcome hey, to Live. Yes? How you doing, my friend? Listen, um, if I was in Haiti, I would say, come see, come sa. <laughs> Go ahead. What's on your mind, comrade? Listen, this is Greg Ellis, man. You know, I'm recuperating from this stroke. And I was trying. I get through, but then I hear all the women. Look, you already gave the prize to the women, man. Well, I had all the them, answers. Them, them I don't me. have a live phone, and I still on my bed, you know, trying to recuperate. How's that stroke coming? I, uh, I would have liked to have won one of those phones. Okay. But I would want to congratulate uh, Mr. Blackburn and Mr. Davis on the great job that they are doing. Thank you. And I hope one day that I am able to get... And a live phone. Just stay alive, we, my we, brother. We, we, we will help with that. But I can let you go because their time is running out and I got a couple more people on the phone. Yeah, but you know, I still try to recuperate from the stroke, you know. You're so good, man. Yeah. I can tell Jax to bring me by you, okay? 
Yeah, alrighty. Hello, welcome to Freedom. Mr. Monka. Yes. Hi, we won the prize for Abaco and Andres. That was the back to school giveaway. Yes. Co and Andres, that was the back to school giveaway before you did the other one. Okay. So you're saying what? This is one of your women damn. We yes, won the prize and we hung up. Oh, they hang up. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we can yeah, they give the okay. name. Good. Yeah, brilliant. Give the man the name. your number. Did you match uh, with me on Saturday? Uh-huh. Okay. I know you. We love you, Senator Monka. We love you. We love our life. Well, wow. thank you. you better we give, love you, too. You better give God time. You sound alive. To be alive. <laughs> huh? Okay, give him your number. Yes. Okay, get, give him your number. He's right there. Send me okay. in the next call because alive. Hello. Welcome to Freedom March. So, while I'm waiting on call, this iPhone that I get from you, mm -hmm. um, will I be able to get a hotspot? Yeah, man. You can Absolutely. try and the hotspot. Oh, yeah. So, if the other people, them, so if you want yeah, to, internet. Go down. Yeah. Yeah. I could create hotspot. Absolutely. Yeah. Just gotta turn it on. Okay then. Just give me an emergency number to call y'all. Just you in case I need y'all to show yeah, me. Yeah, you got okay. the hotspot there. There's a hotspot. So it's it's already on. And this you got your password set. I won't read it out, but it's powerful. Hello, welcome to Freedom Art. Good afternoon, Mr. Monka. Good afternoon, my love. And good afternoon to your guest. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What a good day to be able to give some good prizes like the phone when in the time of a hurricane. Listen, just Thank stick you. with me. When will they go and give these COB students at the university some phones for good grades? Actually, we were at COB on opening day. Our, our chief of live business developer, Garrett Brown, they had a wonderful program out there. We had the van. Also, very, very, very shortly, we'll be launching a package just for students. Oh, COB that sounds so good because students. I think that the, the students at COB, the ones that are doing great, I think they deserve something like that. And I thank you for your generous offer. Well, COB is one of our primary um, focus over the next year. Oh. Um, that was one of the things that we've been doing. Gravette's doing some so great work. So I got to let them. you go, eh? Because the clock is running, eh? Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Anybody else on the phone? Okay. Well, Damien, um, we got two minutes and 36 minutes, seconds. I, I thank you. I'm not going to have to take, if I take the call, the time can run out for them to tell me goodbye, you see? <laughs> no problem. Listen, it is a pleasure to have you here. It's pleasure great to, to see here. competition. But you're going to promise me you're not going to die. Oh, no, we're going to be alive. alive. We're going to promise? We're, we're going to stay alive. We're going to stay alive. We're, you we're, will not die. Absolutely not. What will you do? Stay we're, alive. We're, we're going to be grow. alive. Really? And remember, yeah. you ain't living until you're alive. Wow. And we still got the Southern Bahamas to bail out, and after the storm, we're going to go Absolutely. down. Absolutely. We're there. going as fast as we possibly can to every single island. It's been an absolute pleasure and a privilege for me um, and all my team to be welcomed in all of those family islands that we've visited so far. Um, I haven't been to the islands yet to the south of Exuma. I've spent a lot of time in the Turks and Caicos Islands in a previous life, um, but I'm looking forward. I met so many wonderful people this morning coming off those planes, those uh, Bahamas airplanes from Acklands, from Crooked Island, from uh, Inagua, and we're take so a, looking forward to going flags. to these islands. Hold, give him a flag and you hold a flag. Give him one. Thank you, Rodney. Okay, watch me, hold your flag up. All right, don't carry it too high. And let's, let's, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, they are with us. The people there and they welcome a thousand of our citizens and they provided them with good communication praise the lord it is good to be alive alive it Thank is you, good Rodney. to be alive it's a pleasure. Thanks, because Rodney. once you are alive you can do good work yes we Absolutely. Can. promise me you will not die we will stay alive very much Promise alive. me you will we, not die. We are prepared to stay alive. Will and we urge everybody in the Bahamas to, to prepare stay to stay alive. This is powerful. Through this storm. This is power. They have promised to remain alive through the storm. It is a major test as they hold up our flag and stand with us in unity as we face 
a national crisis. I thank God that we are alive. Alive! Alive! Thank you, Rodney. Do you have something to say to the senator? Call Freedom March at 323-7775. Toll free from anywhere in the Bahamas at 242-300-0045. Freedom March with Rodney Monter, only on ILTV. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Okay. Hello, broadcasting live from ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas. Welcome back to Freedom March. My name is Rodney Monker, and my spiritual advisor, well, he's here. Bradley Roll, welcome to Freedom Match. Thank you, Mr. Munker. It's good to be alive. Absolutely. Say it again. It's great to be alive. Let's give God thanks, In this then. beautiful country, the Bahamas. Yes, it's great well, to be alive. This is powerful. Absolutely. My spiritual advisor, Irma, is on the way. Ah, man. And as we batten down and prepare for Irma, the question that I put is, Nemo really ready and how will the poor who's unable to afford the kinds of material how are they going to make out and is the government clearly telling the citizens exactly where they ought to go in case of emergency because Nassau is an island that is easily flooded and I'm certain the many other islands. So it's important that we know where to go. Well, what is interesting, Mr. Monka, um, on my commute here to the studio, I was listening to a particular radio station, and what they were doing is that they were telling people, giving them the, a list of churches that are opening their doors to them, and what the churches have done is they have a provided the head count as to how much they'll be able to accommodate. Let me give an example. Okay. The Church of God Auditorium, Joe Farrington Road, they say that they will accommodate 1,500 people. 1,500 people? Yeah. Okay. All right. And so there's a list of churches that, that send their names in, and they give them the um, capacity that they can uh, actually hold as far as people coming to the shelter. So I think that's a, a pretty good thing. Zion, uh, on, on, on Zion, Baptist Church, I think on Zion Boulevard, they'll be able to do, I think, maybe two or 300 people. Okay. And then the list goes on and on. So, I mean, that's, that's a very good thing. Uh, the government, of course, is being very proactive um, in dealing with this disaster that's about to head our way. Um, we we, we got to give them kudos, uh, two thumbs up, for evacuating those southern islands. Yes, you are provide, right. providing transportation for them to get here. Um, there was a at least about 50 omnibuses at the airport uh, ready to, to um, you know, drive these people to their uh, destination. Of course, they will, of course, need housing. I don't know if the government is going to provide housing or they're going to go to, to um, um, Can uh, the Can the Isaac gym or what? They, they're finding? I guess they would have to. Well, the government obviously yeah, uh, has it. Obviously, they plan. have it planned yeah. properly. Yeah. This so we must, we must um, congra congratulate the government for that. And I must personally congratulate my MP. Who's your MP? Frankie Campbell. What is he Frankie, doing? Frankie, we are happy that you have dumped 20 yards of sand in the Marshall Road area for the residents in Marshall Road. Is that S enough sand? Well, it's a start. You can go get your little bag, fill up with sand, and place it to your door. Really? Frankie, we thank you so much. That is sand so is for who all? Uh, the Marshall Road area. Okay. Because it is dumped right to the entrance of Missy Gardens. Really? So all the residents in Missy Gardens, and then, of course, those in the Marshall Road area, down by the boat ramp or the sea, they can come in, get their, their sand bikes, and fill them up. Well, so we just must congratulate Frankie for that. Frankie, you are congratulated for 20 yards of sand. Absolutely. Praise the Lord. Absolutely. Earlier, I told you that I spoke with the Minister of Health, Dr. Dwayne Sands. He want all the women them who think they shall have baby during the storm. Listen, check in, I say, before labor pain. Because if you have baby in the storm, Delia or Irma will write the note. The minister warns those who suspect 
that delivery is at hand to come to the hospital prior to the storm. And those of you who knew that baby was coming should already have your suitcase packed. All right, that's important. I also questioned the minister whether or not the clinics will be open in the midst of the storm. And from what he said, no clinics will be open in the midst of the storm. So if you think you can need something from the hospital, you better get there before the hurricane. Very important because they say this hurricane is extremely devastating. That is what we are told. I'm a man of faith. I'm a man of faith. And I believe that the hurricane ain't gonna come to Nassau. <laughs> but that's me. Don't listen to me. Listen to civil authority. Because when Irma do come, we have to survive. And the only way you can guarantee survival is to listen to the authorities. That's what you have to do. Okay? So we are faced with this threat and we have been advised that in the Southern Caribbean there has been some major devastation. Oh man, the photos are unbelievable. Tell Mr. me Monica. what have you seen like in the advisor? St. Martin, St. Kitts. What have what have been seen circulating on social media? Boy, Mr. Monka, that is a monster. Storm. I'm telling you, wow! I cannot believe the images. It is unbelievable. Those who are directly in that part of the hurricane. Are we still mm, in the part of the hurricane? Well, the Southern Islands are. Okay. You know, but Agua, we brought the people here. In Agua, um, Ragged in Island. In Ragged Island, you know, I am receiving that. reports that some of the family of attorney at law, the QC man, what's his name? Which QC? He's curly hair. Serve as a former acting justice of the Supreme Court. Can't remember his name. Ezekiel. Where is he from? Exuma? Ragged Island. Ragged Island. What the man name from Ragged Island? I understand some of his family say they ain't coming to Nassau. They prefer to go in the cave. Well, make sure the cave is not below sea level. Boy, that's because a serious thing. You said something interesting just now. I don't want y'all to drown. <laughs> what is the name of him? Father, forgive me. Forgive me. What Lord. is the name of Elliot Lockhart? That's, that's his name. it. I was gonna say Elliot. Elliot Lockhart. Lockhart. Listen, tell Mama them to come on the plane, eh? Before the hurricane. I know Ragged Island people has weathered lots of storm. Okay? This one is no joke though. And be careful because the last person who recommended that the resident go into the cave, they case him out. And when the election came, they voted him out. But he was correct. What was the name of the former minister of agriculture who recommended that those citizens who were trapped on an island, that they should go into a cave? Do you know his name? I'm we Alfred, Alfred Gray. Gray. Okay. okay? So listen to the authorities. You should have stock up on water. And listen, if you can't afford them good drinking water, the government pump is fine. When I get off, I shall be going to the pump to fill up my bucket. You have any plastic? Draw my camera? <laughs> you won't need to do that, man. Just What's your man? I don't need to do it. Because my first listen, cousin, Derek Davis. Secure some drinking water, okay? Like about three to four gallons, all right? And that should take you for maybe two to three days, right? Listen, I, I need water to bed off. Oh, okay. Well, all right. There, there'll be lots of that around. You ain't got to worry about that. There'll be um, plenty of water around. Shucks. The only person you can be in the sea and all. talking about that, I have a brother. And there's a woman who bathes him off in <laughs> aqua pure water. I always thought my brother was sinful. Then I discovered <laughs> that he could find a whole oh, woman. <laughs> she drove... <laughs> Aqua pure water. 
I've been married. Father, forgive me. All of my life. And you never had no one page and off and I never. Off. We need to find out what is the secret. Yeah. The woman uh, every off man can use a woman. Aqua pure. Bade you off in aqua pure water. Eh? That sounds interesting. I think it's powerful. Absolutely. Absolutely. But not <laughs> in the midst of a storm. <laughs> Listen, uh, where is the commissioner of police? He needs to return to service. Come, Marvin, how you could have one of the biggest hurricanes and Green Slade is not here to command his men. All right? Oh, yes, you are 100% correct. Everybody has been called because to service. They have the call and did it, all the, the reserves. Everybody. That is why I am range, suspicious. The defense force, the police. Except the, police the commissioner of police. It is silly. Wow. And I call on the prime minister as chairman of the National Security Council to order the commissioner of police to return to service so that he may command the men. Because he's still in charge of the force, right? Of course. All How right. the heck so, he could have a hurricane? So he's supposed to be given the command? Yes. But where is he? I don't know. You haven't heard from the commissioner? I don't know. And watch what the government is doing. They talk about accountability and transparency but in, a, in the midst of a storm, nobody knows where the commissioner of police is. It's just amazing. I don't know what I'm going to do with my government. I'm not gonna, I don't know what I'm going to do. Nobody will answer the question. And the criminals recognize or recognizing that the commissioner of police has been deactivated. The murders are taking place left, Cause, right. Cause um, not, not, not to cut you off, Mr. Monk, what Go is ahead. interesting is during the last hurricane, yes. which I think happened around, was it Yes, October? in October. Yes. Uh -huh. He was extremely active. As a matter of fact, it was him, who, was it was the him who caused me to leave Marshall Road. Well, listen. Because when they came in the back there and they were telling the residents, listen, we understand that this water is supposed to come as far as um, Cowpen Road. They say, you all need to go. I heeded his warning. I said, you know what? <laughs> Something going on this time. I'm going to leave. He was very active during the last hurricane. So very how are we going to manage? <laughs> but he's supposed but to be you better command. tell the people them in Marshall Road that although we can't find the commissioner of police, remember what he told you. Tell them. Yeah, he told us to leave. And I listened to him and I left. So I'm doing the same thing this time. Yeah. I'm going to evacuate. Yeah. You know? Listen. Absolutely. I was looking at the email that I received from that no good company telling me that the room was $119 and all of a sudden they've gone up. Have you It's amazing. Your, 300 huh? and almost what? $45? Yeah. And and they're telling you what they sent me. They said come to Marriott's. $119 a night. Yeah, that was the rate. 117 plus tax. Right. We're bring it up to and like And now, one. I can't get in marriage. Y'all yeah. don't know what kind of man I am. Y because you know, mm -hmm. the Bible teaches us to say good things and pray good for your enemies. Y'all want me to say something of the way? No. Huh? No. We still got to bless them. Bless them the curse. But what right. is interesting, Mr. Monaco? Yes. Is that all the hotels are saying they're full. They lie. All. They lie. I call all of them. And they say they're full. All of them saying, um, no, sorry, sir, we're not taking any more buckets. Okay. Well, I let say, me curse wow. you. If you are full, may the storm pass you by. But if you lie, <laughs> may it wash you to no, sea I mean, for your want. wickedness. Yeah, yeah. Well, you all say you all love the Bahamas? We need hotels. And you, you still How come? Huh? But you know no good self. You said a mouthful, because I'm trying to figure out, these hotels are here in the Bahamas, right? Yeah. And I don't think they're off limits to Bahamians. Bahamians can spend their money at these, well, these hotels, right? we have had strange policies so I don't understand. where what? the government does not believe in us. It's this is the only country what, what where it, citizens can't go to the casino and gamble. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this is the only country yeah. in the world where the tourists can't come to a web shop. I don't want to say anything. I got, I got the documents. So and the storm is coming. To re, re, and gonna... I got all the things here. Y'all ain't right. How the heck a hotel that is not full could decide that we can't come? And that's only because I'm black. If I was not a Negro, I could go there. 
But this is the kind of leadership that we have had from these Negroes who have no sense of nationalism and sovereignty. That's what the problem is. And I can say it anyhow because on my mind. If it is full, Lord, save the people. It's amazing how they... But if it isn't full, Lord, get them over the bar. They always shot me him himself when the storm yeah. comes. I wonder why they do that. Because that they know so what kind of leadership exists in the country. That is so dishonest. Huh? If we find Hotelia doing that and they're not citizen, you put them on the stop list. Tout le monde haïtien, gardez pour cyclone. Jouen, yon kote, bon. Parce que ma pape espe haïtien peut mouan yo pour nager. Ok? Nager la mer. Parce que la mer pa bon. Si ou pa gade, ou koule la mer. Oh, Papa Nuki. So, the hurricane is coming. Derek, Davis, if you all see my first cousin in Fox Hill, tell Derek I run out of bread. Save me a loaf of bread. Save me two tuna. And Derek, I need a blanket just for me because the storm is coming and I suspect you have extra blanket. So if you see my first cousin... Derek Davis, I need a loaf of bread and a couple of, do I need tuna, my spiritual advisor? Oh yeah, tuna, tuna inside in. What I can do with tuna? What do you mean? Make I sure need you, green banana. Make sure you got some lime. One some, of the reasons why I talk onions, with Dr. Dwayne Sands. Sweet pepper. To see what all I need. I got a latest advisory here from Nemo. Let's hear the latest advisory. For immediate release, September the 6th, 2017, by the National Emergency management agency hurricane warning remains in effect for southeast bahamas and turks and caicos island nassau the bahama islands in the south in the southeast bahama sorry islands in the southeast bahamas forgive me remain under hurricane warning as hundreds of residents are being evacuated hours before the powerful hurricane irma is projected to impact those areas <laughs> Hurricane Emma is expected to pass near the Turks and Caicos Islands and the Southeast Bahamas late. Sorry, a call came through. Um, what happened? Hurricane Emma is expected to pass near the Turks and Caicos Islands and the Southeast Bahamas late Thursday. Those islands include Meguano, Inagua, Crooked Island, Acklands, Ragged Island, Long Key, Samana Key. With maximum sustained winds near 185 miles an hour. Wow. Meanwhile, the Bahamas Department of Meteorology has issued a hurricane watch for islands of the central Bahamas and a hurricane alert issued for the northwest Bahamas. See advisory issued by the Bahamas Department of Meteorology. Well, I am now Googling and I see that extreme category 5, Irma. Crashes into Caribbean, setting sight on Florida. Okay? So that is what I can see. Irma is crashing into the Caribbean. And they're looking for southeast Florida. Florida, yeah, that's what they're saying. And what does else does it say? Yeah. So, yeah, lesson. We're in for a ride. Prepare. Okay? Prepare. Listen to the authorities. And if you can't batten up your house with plywood, grab any kind of wood. And I was in a community where people are putting, what them tape name, them plastic tape, what you call them? Duct tape. Duct tape on the glass. Listen, that used to work 30 years ago, but that ain't awake this time. Stop putting tape on the glass. The hurricane can crash through it. Try and find plywood. You can't find plywood, any piece of wood. Just nail it up and seek refuge, okay? Jax, you all come rescue me, eh? Other than that, I'm going to stay right in being in Grandstown. This is one hurricane I don't have to worry. The government going to have to worry about my wife. She is in the Princess Margaret Hospital, so... 
I just hope that Dr. Dwayne Sands has enough staff to nail up them vendors at the hospital. Okay? Read some text. Yes, read some text and tell everybody to be safe. Listen, if in the storm you do not find me anymore, just pray for my mortal soul. It's a powerful storm. We have to survive this. Jehovah God. Absolutely. absolutely. God of the holy people of holy Israel. The protect us universe. and give our government wisdom to give us the best advice. All right? What text you got there, my spiritual uh, Good afternoon, advisor. Mr. Monka. We're wondering how is your wife doing? Is she okay in the hospital? Well, she's doing much better. This woman is saying that she cooked some soup. If you would like some, please call me after the show. Listen, I need soup because this storm, this can be a horrible storm. Is that one of the women them? Uh, I'm only eating soup from the woman <laughs> them, okay? Because you know my the F and M don't my like mine me. Mine was just on that. Yeah, the, what, what do they say? The cuckoo soup? Listen, at my age, cuckoo <laughs> soup wouldn't work on me. You'll have to actually give me the cuckoo. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Um, Mr. Monka, we are hoping for your safety during the, sp the storm. That's Listen, the Brother Jax will come and rescue me. He always rescue me. I don't have to worry. If the storm come and I call him, he'll find a boat and come and rescue me, him and his wife. Mr. Monken responds to the query on harvest at Bamsey. It is confirmed that harvest of bananas and papayas started from Monday in anticipation of the devastation of But Hurricane I need a couple of Hana green bananas. That producer is being shipped in Arsenal tomorrow morning. The okay. animals are also safe in shelter to minimize harm. Bamsey has prepared for the storm in advance to the best of our ability. Okay. Uh, God bless and stay safe, one and all. This is powerful. Listen, listen to the government. Don't do nothing foolish and reckless. Let's suspend all criminal activities. Okay? We don't want that. The police is going to be overworked. Y'all who live in the eastern part of the island, Yamako Beach and so forth, you can see what the, ra the, the hurricane did the last time. Y'all get out of there. And don't forget, nobody knew where Green Slade, Green Slade is. Only him was brave enough to lead the men on that major rescue effort. So we don't know where he is. So get out because he won't be wrong for y'all to call. Because Marvin them say they believe in transparency, but this is the first time since majority rule and since independence that a whole commission of police can't be found. And I've been thinking and consulting people. I think I'm going to government house to petition the governor general, dear Margaret Pinling, to ask her to please give us an account of where the commissioner of police is. I never see nothing like this. You all ain't know how to run no government. Marvin, you know what you're doing? A whole commissioner of police. Nobody know where he is. And Hurricane come in. Man, you all disgraceful? Goodness of my sea. What kind of Negroes are you? Hall Commissioner Police. Nobody know where he is. Listen. So that's them having TV? Because the government closed and down. And I need to come to work. I don't want the studio to close down. Because I have to take care of a woman now. And I need to work this whole week. So I'm coming even in the storm. Because the people them. We, okay, that tomorrow is what? Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday? Well, Thursday, I'm coming. Friday, I am coming to work. All right? How you all going to close Friday? That, that, that's against the fair labor standard. I'm entitled to five days of work. 40 hour week. Right? What you all mean you all close? You all can pay me eight. I come into work. <laughs> or I go into the union. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? The Secretary General of the Union, Astrid Bodhi, she's one of the women down. Man, she could march on Saturday. She marched like she has never marched before. Listen, be safe. Yeah, I'm praying for safety. Pray. Get your little things. Get your little bread and so forth. And listen, I'm the woman down sugar. 
Y'all look out for me, eh? My number is 434-5760. Every now and then, in the call, check call to see if I'm still around. And when you're going to buy the little toner, make extra toner salad. So that, you know, I can have a little toner salad or some steamed toner and grain banana. Dr. Dwayne San said he, for the hurricane, he wanted me to eat more grain Bananas, banana. Eh? A lot of iron and grain banana. A lot of iron and grain yeah. banana? I a don't lot. need no iron. I'm 60. No? No. Yeah, 60. Iron is for young people. You, you need some iron at 60. Listen, tomorrow, if it is God's will, we shall follow Irma. Irma, one and one is two. I scared of you. I'm prepared to dash you down <laughs> and wrestle with you. You ain't gonna destroy NASA. You hear me? I'm opposed to domestic violence, Irma, but I'm prepared to beat your. You hear what they say? I don't play my spiritual advisor. <laughs> Let's pray. Irma! <laughs> Spiritual advisor. We will pray, man, that God protects us all. You know? Amen. That God protects us all. And whatever we do, that's important. God will protect us. Lord, I'm a sinner saved by grace. Absolutely. We all Forgive are. me for my sins and do not allow me and my people to perish, to perish in the storm. Because life is sweet and it's good to be alive. Protect us, dear Lord, for we have sinned. And we confess those sins in Jesus' name. Amen. See you tomorrow. The thoughts, views, and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers, and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved.